Tonight, a lawsuit filed against a California poker player. He's accused of using radio frequency identification playing cards to cheat. Good evening, everybody. I'm Trisha Keene. And I'm Ty Quinones. The allegations are taking the poker world by storm. And 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter spoke with a local player tonight, and he shows you what these cards are and exactly how they work. Austin. Yeah, it's hot, and that local poker player says he actually went up against Postal in one of the last live stream games that took place at Stones Casino in California, the same place where this alleged cheating took place. And this local player, he tells me he agrees with everything in this lawsuit that Postal's winnings are unfathomable in the professional poker world. Poker player Mike Postel named in a $10 million civil lawsuit accusing him of cheating his way to the top, raking in thousands of dollars at broadcasted poker games at Stone's Gambling Hall in California. There is an avalanche of evidence uh, that shows this gentleman was cheating and we can make that case. And how did he do it? The lawsuit claims Postel was able to use wire communication through the poker tables that were embedded with radio frequency identification capabilities, procured playing cards containing RFID sensors. That technology able to transmit in real time the identity of each of his opponent's cards. Once it's his opponent's turn to act, he'll be able to see those cards or hear uh, if he's getting relayed information that way. Meet Matt Berkey, local pro poker player and now teacher of poker strategy, showing us firsthand how that RFID technology works and how Postal may have been able to pull this off. So if I were the dealer and dish you out two cards. This RFID table, very similar to the one used at Stones for the games Postal played in, each seat equipped with its own individual reader that works as a translator for the cards. Consider it similar to like a barcode. Uh, they're all unique. The card's identity going through the reader, then onto an RFID motherboard. Consider this like the brain. Um, this is effectively what's interpreting all of the data. And from the motherboard to the computer. So you just place the cards on top of the reader. Um, they'll then show up on the, the graphic reader. That computer has a graphic system installed that can show real time or delayed results of the cards in play. So like right now, I don't know what that hand is, but if I look at the graphics, I know it's King of Diamonds, Queen of Hearts. The lawsuit claims somehow Postal got that information, possibly through a cell phone, enlisting the help of alleged accomplices working on the inside. We asked Matt if this could affect similar RFID implemented games like the World Series of Poker, but he doesn't think so and hopes if the allegations are true, justice will be served and the casino will step up. They just did really nothing to ensure that the stream was secure. And due to that, it's very likely that somebody cheated them for 18 months.